Hi guys, welcome to Peace of the Week. Believe it or not, it's almost autumn, so time to think about warming up a little bit and um, adding in some layers, because layers are a really great way to add some interest and style personality to our wardrobe. Today, I'm bringing you the trusty trench coat. Um, this version I bought from Marks and Spencer about three years ago, but I've seen out in the shops already um, beautiful versions of, or beautiful different versions of a trench coat. Um, this one, in terms of colour palette, is a cool grey, so really great across your darks and your lights, as long as you're maintaining with your what you're wearing underneath your correct contrast. It's a really great one for coolies. But as I said, I've seen loads of different var uh, variations of colour, some real warm caramels, camels, that sort of thing. But I've also seen some lovely dusty pinks um, and that sort of thing, across, you know, for, at sports craft or somewhere like that. So keep an eye out for a trench coat because it's fabulous for, um, as again, living up here in Brisbane, I don't need much warmth. So the trench coat's that little bit lighter just to throw on over things to add that little bit of warmth. Um, but also great if you just want to do some layering, you know, the shirt, a cardi, and then a trench over the top with a scarf. You can just uh, as easily use this in a cooler climate as well. Style personality wise, this one is quite classic, but you can get some really interesting colour combinations and different designs. Somewhere like Bowden or something like that have some lovely, bright, vibrant coloured trench coats if the um, neutrals aren't floating your boat. Um, in terms of line and design, this one's fantastic. You can see this great uh, shoulder detailing. So we've got the epaulets, these little things. Oops, sorry. These little things are called epaulets. We've got a lovely wide pointed collar here, as well as this um, layering with the buttons here. So what we're doing is creating that um, focal point that brings our shoulders out. So this shape, with it undone, I've created... I'm widening those shoulders, but if I'm doing it up like this, I've widened out the shoulders, I've brought it in at the waist and um, evened out this with that little bit of flare there. So I've created that lovely inverted triangle, oh, sorry, I beg your pardon, uh, hourglass shape by bringing in the waist there. You can see here too, I've got it done up at the back because me, my preference is to not have anything around that tummy area. I've just got those lovely angled pockets there. So again, it's creating that illusion of an hourglass shape. So consider that if you don't like that little focal point. Um, this one's great too, in that it's much more streamlined being a single breasted coat. A lot of trench coats tend to be a double breasted setup, which isn't great again for that bulk around the tummy and also for people with larger bust lines. So think about that when you're looking at the different options, that double breasted just adds that extra bulk. I love a trench coat because it's great. You can see this one sort of hits me at that, just at that um, above the knee level there, which is great. If you want to go a bit lower, remembering to keep it just um, either above or below the knee, you want it to end at those sort of two narrow points. I love it because the length allows me to wear it over a dress in winter. You can see there, but you can also wear it over pants. So in terms of versatility, you can wear it across your outfit. This season, the trend is also, if you get that one that's a little bit longer than this one, they're actually wearing trench coats as dresses. dresses. It's called trench, dress, trench dressing, it's very hard to say. So also consider that itself as a dress. So very versatile trench coat. Look out for them in your shopping travels. Thanks for joining me today. See ya.